HBCSU Athletics, welcome to Gwendolyn Brooks Field for tonight's Ohio Valley Conference interstate matchup between the Cougars of Southern Illinois Edwardsville and your Cougars of the Chicago State University. Now, let's meet the starting lineups for the visiting Southern Illinois Edwardsville Cougars. First at midfield, number four, Sam Layden. Next, the defender, number six, Will Harris. Next, at forward in midfield, number 11, Stefan Morera. Next, the defender, number 12, Aaron Captree. Next, at midfield, number 14, Seth Koronek. Next at midfield, number 16, Anasadik Harshin. Next at forward, number 17, Jacob Villu. Next at forward, number 21, Nacho Abiel Pu. Next at midfield, number 22, Jake Karolczak. Next, the defender, number 24, Wes Gibson. And finally, the goalkeeper, number one, San Gomez. The assistant coaches are Jordan Grant and Jackson Worth, and the head coach of SIUE, Kale Wasserman. Starting lineups for your Chicago State Cougars. First at midfield, number two, Luke Asap. Next to defender, number four, Efereen Rebens. Next at forward, number six, Ian Topete. Next at midfield, number 10, Enrique Zamora. Next at forward, number 17, Hillary Adiambo. Next at forward, number 22, Arafat Oro now. Next to defender, number 23, Jose Ibarra. Next to defender, number 32, Donut Juhas. Next at forward, number 33, Daniel Sergio. Next to defender, number 34, Joshua Siniceros. And finally, the goalkeeper, number zero, Lucas Fontana. The assistant coach is Adam Ponder, and your head coach of CSU, Norris House. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're able to, please rise and kindly remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice is Sing, followed by our USA National Anthem. Lift Every Voices Sing, often referred to as the Black National Anthem, is played to recognize and celebrate Chicago State University's designation as a predominantly black institution. Oh. 
back to Spark right Good evening and welcome to Gwendolyn Brooks College Prep as we got to battle the Cougars here on the south side of Chicago. The upset-minded Chicago State Cougars welcoming in the undefeated SIU Edwardsville Cougars. Good evening and welcome. My name is Aaron Shellen and Chicago State has their hands full tonight with the 10-0 and 3. SIU Edwardsville Cougars. Chicago State already with their best season in program history. A, a, a franchise kind of, a, 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 a program that's in their fourth season. Had a, had a victory earlier this season against Liberty, a team that, that had beaten them earlier in the season, 7-1, to one, an upset here, 2 nothing a couple of weeks ago, looking for another upset here today as they look for that, that key victory of this 2023 men's soccer season. And we're about ready to go, so before we get started, let's take a quick look at the starting lineups for both teams. First, starting with the 10-0-3 First place Cougars 5-0-1 in the OVC this season. On that they play a three a four three four rather on the back line. Will Harris, Aaron Crabtree, Wes Gibson, and Sam Layton in the midfield. Asadi Kassan, Jake Carolzak, and Seth Karenak up front. Stephen Morera, Jacob Bilyeu, and Nacho Abiel Pau for the 10-0-3 Cougars and for the three eight and three. Chicago State Cougars 1-3-2 and two in the OVC on the season. They play a 4-2-4 on their back line. Joshua Sineceros gets the start here tonight along with Efrain Rivas, Jose Ibarra, and Donat Juhas. We'll see Donat up and down the field as he's that fullback who really tries to create offensively for his midfield and his his attackers in the midfield, Luca Asaf, Enrique Zamora, and the four attacking forwards for this Chicago State team, Danny Sergeyev, Ian Topete, who's really come on strong as of late, a team leading five goals for Ian. Ilari Odiambo and Arafat Uru now get the start for Chicago State. In goal for the Cougars, Lucas Fontana. Lucas has been playing some better soccer as of late. He's 3-7-3 and three on the year. That goal's against down to 2.4 last time. Uh, about a couple weeks ago, that goals against was up over three, so he's cut that down by about half a goal here in the last couple of weeks. Save percentage just south of 600 on the uh, on the season. On the other side for the Cougars, one of the best goalkeepers in the country, in Sam Gomez. Sam. 
top 10 in the NCAA this season in goals against average, 0.615. That is right, just over half a goal a season or per game Gomez has allowed this season is 862 save percentage, fourth in the NCAA. This is one of the best defensive squads and best goalkeepers in the country right here in the red and white. The SIU Cougars. Cougars in their home grays with the green numbers. And we're underway here at Gwendolyn Brooks. Last time Chicago State was outmanned on paper, they emerged with a 2 0 victory against Liberty and as they look for more of the same here. It's going to be a tough battle against this Cougars team, though, that while they're also, they are top 10 in the NCAA in goals this season. They've scored 30 goals in their 13 games this season. They really, as I mentioned, get it done defensively. This is a team that's allowed more than one goal exactly once this season. Gomez has six shutouts on the season. They've allowed more than one goal once, and that was two goals in a 2-2 tie against Linden, Lindenwood. So this is a very tough defensive wall that Chicago State is going to have to break through here this evening if they want to pick up their fourth victory of the season and their second OVC victory. Cougars with the ball on the back line. Pass stolen away in midfield. Headed forward into space, and SIU Edwardsville takes possession down here on the near side with it. That's Abial Pau. Abial Pau walks through a couple of gray jerseys, top of the box, plays that one forward. Donut Juhas with some good defense down here on the near side on Jacob Bilyeu. And that'll be out of bounds for a throw in for SIU Edwardsville. Both teams are Cougars. You're going to get a lot of college names here this evening. SIU Edwardsville with possession. It's Harris. Gibson now. Gibson taking his time. Chicago State giving him space, so he takes it. Up into the middle, played back once again to Harris. Harris, the senior from Coventry, England, plays the long ball down the far side. Under a misty sky here on the south side of Chicago, 56 degrees at kickoff. We are officially in fall here in the Chicagoland area. It's been misty and cool for about a week. This is Lucas Fontana all the way on the far side of the field. Puts the long ball down that far side. Controlled by Chicago State, at least for the moment. Play it back to midfield, chipped into space, but a bit of a miss hit. And SIU Edwardsville will take possession. Chicago State takes it right back, though. Played back in the middle. That's Ibarra. Nowhere to go. Ibarra just down here on the near side to Zamora. Zamora to Danny Sergeyev, and they play it back. Chip ball down the near side. Chicago State just eluding. I believe that was Hillary Odiambo down there on the far side. It'll be a throw in for SIU Edwardsville. Good ball, just a little too much on it. This slick field here, it's been misting on and off pretty much all day. So that field's probably pretty slick. So that ball's going to skip on the Smurf turf here at Gwendolyn Brooks. Odiambo tries to. Dribble around the SIU Edwardsville defender. He'll get himself a throw in. Just underway. About five minutes into the first half. Chicago State, SIU Edwardsville. Bit of a miss hit there on the pass again. And SIU Edwardsville now down the near side. As they looked on the counterattack. Played forward through to Abiel Pau. Abiel Pau dribbling through the Chicago State defense. Top of the box or near the top of the box. And again, Chicago State with a, bit, a couple of miss hits on some pretty easy passes as that shot's deflected down and left-footed out of trouble by the Chicago State Cougars. Ball straight up in the air, body down, and Odiambo tries to tip it over to Danny Sergeyev, and 
It's too far in front of Danny. Danny's been stuck on three goals here for a while. Six foot, five inch junior out of Glenview, Glenbrook South High School. A really enticing target on set pieces down in the box for that six foot five inch frame. But he's been stuck at three here for a few weeks now, actually. Picked up a couple of goals in the first few games of the season, but but nothing since. Other players have stepped up, though. Ian Topete, five goals on the season. He had two in a game against Southern Indiana a couple of weeks ago. You throw in here for SIU Edwardsville. And that upset over Liberty a few weeks back. Chicago State got on the board early, scored in the first 10 minutes of the game, made that hold up. That was the first game all season that they went into halftime with the lead. In fact, they had only scored one goal in the first half all season long prior to that game. Took a one nothing lead into the half, scored a goal in the second half, and they made it hold up as they defeated... What at the time was an undefeated Liberty Flames squad, two to nothing. Since then, a loss and a couple of draws for Chicago State. So one, one, and two in their last four, playing some of their best soccer of the season here as we approach the end of the the first OVC men's soccer campaign. Chicago State with four games left, two at home, two on the road. Their last home game of the season will be on Sunday as they take on Houston Christian University. Five o'clock kickoff time for that, and then their final two games of the season at Incarnate Ward and at Houston Christian on the 26th and 29th, and then tournament play. So we're already approaching tournament play here as that'll start the second week in November. Right now, SIU Edwardsville atop the OVC with a 5-0-1 mark. They really are the cream of the crop in this OVC conference this season. Incarnate Word sits in second place at 3-1-2, while Liberty is in third at 3-2-1. Lindenwood right in the middle at 2-1-3. Eastern Illinois 2-4-1. Houston Christian 1-2-3. Then you've got Chicago State sitting in seventh at 1-3-2. And, and Southern Indiana still winless in the OVC. And... Ball into the box, and Chicago State's going to get a, the first corner kick of the game. See who's going to take that for the Cougars. For the Chicago State Cougars, need to clarify. It's going to be Enrique Zamora taking the corner kick here for Chicago State. Blast the ball over to the far side, looking for Odiambo, but... Not particularly close, so Chicago State forced to throw it in now back towards midfield. Ball rolled through. Tapped through to Odiambo. Illery, the ball in, looking for Sergeyev in the box, but good defense by SIU Edwardsville. So Chicago State with a decent opportunity and right back on the attack here. Juhas with it. Donut, six assists on the season to lead the team. That's top 30 in the nation. Donut, the six foot four inch junior out of Hungary, has really come on as of late. Chicago State with possession. Ball down the far side looking for Odiambo. SAU Edwardsville 10 0 3 on the season. They're one of six remaining unbeaten teams in the NCAA. And their their winning percentage, they're 10 0 3 on the season. That winning percentage. Odiambo in the shot. And I think they're gonna say Chicago State was offsides there. Odiambo got through the defense, walked in, but not on the near side, offsides whistled. That 10 0 3 mark on the season, that 885 winning percentage is the second best in the nation, trailing only the top team in the country, the Marshall Thundering Herd, who are 12-0-0 on the season. So this SIU Edwardsville team is a force to be reckoned with, and Cougars playing fairly even here through the first 10 or 12 minutes. Handball called on Chicago State, so SIU Edwardsville will take possession.
Ball down the near side. Juhas fending off Abil Pau. Left foots it down the near side, stolen away by Crabtree. Crabtree in the middle, tipped forward nicely, and Chicago State will take possession. Rolled down the far side, Odiambo. Hillary with some space. Hillary down deep. The right-footed shot into the side of the net. Odiambo got all of that one off the right foot and put it into the side of the net. And this will be another corner kick for Chicago State. So the Cougars, you know, Chicago State Cougars getting off to a pretty good start here against this undefeated SIU Edwardsville club. And it looks like Juhas will be taking the corner kick down in the far side. So Hillary Odiambo. Not wasting an opportunity. Got himself a little bit of space, and that ball was deflected. We'll see what Juhas is able to do on this corner. Donut with the left foot. Puts that towards the back post, and that goes over everybody. Chicago State playing it down here on the near side. Now Zamora. Zamora the ball into the box, and the low cross is cleared out of harm's way. Chicago State will maintain possession. Lofted over to the near side, Zamora again. Not able to control the ball off his chest, and that gives SIU Edwardsville a chance to attack down the other side. Abil Pau. Pau stops on a dime. Abil Pau with the left foot into space. That's played forward by Hassan into the box, and Juhas is able to head it out of trouble, but that'll be an offsides. Chicago State playing. Pretty even against an unbeaten team here through the first 13 minutes. See if they can keep that up. This is very similar to how they played against Liberty when Liberty came in undefeated. This is the first meeting ever between these two teams. The intrastate rivalry, or interstate rivalry, I should say. Fontana plays it right down here in front of us. Chicago State, and Luca Asaf knocked to the ground. Rolled back into the middle where SIU Edwardsville will retain possession. Crabtree stops right at midfield, plays it back. Gibson over to the far side. It's Lawton, excuse me, Harris. Harris playing it back to Gomez. Gomez to Gibson in an attacking defense here from Chicago State in the early going. This is how they play defense. They like to put pressure on the opposition, force them into mistakes. Nice attempt at the give and go. That'll be a throw in here for SIU Edwardsville. It'll be taken by Aaron Crabtree. Crabtree out of Manchester, England. So some United Kingdom flair here for this SIU Edwardsville squad. Top of the box. Dribbling in traffic, left-footed out of trouble. And Odu now has it here. Arafat, right-footed, looking for Odiambo. That ball skips. Illery has it. Illery with a ton of speed down the right side. Gets around the defense. Odiambo stops there. Puts it towards the top of the box, but there's nobody home. Good idea by, uh, by Hillary. Just nobody following up that play for Chicago State. Odiambo has looked really good here through the first 15 minutes. For Chicago State. Whistle and it looks like a foul called on Chicago State. So SIU Edwardsville. Looks like actually but just out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in here for SIU Edwardsville. Played back to their back line. Rolled back to Gomez. Talked about Gomez. 10-0-3. He's played every minute of every game for SIU Edwardsville this season. 10-0-3 with a point six one five save percent or excuse me, goals against a save percentage approaching 900, which is top five in the NCAA. That's sitting fourth. He's allowed eight goals in 13 games. He has almost as many shutouts as he does goals allowed this season. Six shutouts on the year, only eight goals allowed in those 13 games. So the Cougars are going to pick up a, an upset victory here today. They're going to earn it 
against a very, very good goalkeeper and a very, very good defense. SIU Edwardsville, also a really balanced attack. Top 10 in the NCAA in goals scored. They have 11 different goal scorers on their team. They're led by Mitchell Murphy, who's not even starting. Mitchell Murphy and Al-Sadiq Hassan, each with five goals on the season. Jake Karolzak with four. Handful of people with two and one, but 11 different goal scorers for SIU Edwardsville. So very hard team to stop. Ball rolled through on the near side. Tapped back. SIU Edwardsville puts that ball towards the box over the head of the intended target by Aaron Crabtree. And Chicago State forced to play it forward, looking for Odiambo, but Hillary not able to corral that pass. And it's played all the way back to Gomez. Each team with one shot. A couple of corners for Chicago State here in the early going. Neither really led to anything. The best opportunity was the right foot of Hillary Odiambo that was off the side of the net. Juhas. The long left foot looking for Odiambo. Hillary has it. And he's down low. Nobody down there to help him, though. Plays it back. Left-footed cross over the head of everybody. Again, looking for the 6-foot, 5-inch Danny Sergiev, but Danny needed to be 7-5 there in order to play that one. It's over his head. That'll be a goal kick. SIU Edwardsville now through midfield. Ball hops away and the Cougars, Chicago State Cougars, will retake possession. Over on the far side. Right back down here in front of us. Up through the middle again, looking for Odiambo. Chicago State seems to really want to attack that far side of the field with number 17, Hillary Odiambo. Definitely been their best opportunity so far as Sergiev sweeps that ball to midfield. SIU Edwardsville will retake possession. They'll try to attack that far side of the field now. That's Will Harris over there. The long ball, and it's bodied down by Juhas. Sergiev tries to dribble through. Danny over to Juhas. Donat the long left foot looking into space. And again, they find Odiambo. Hillary with some space and some time. Hillary all, all alone down there. Puts it into the box. The save is made. And that hops off the hands of Gomez into the six. But fortunate enough for SIU Edwardsville to be able to corral it. Chicago State almost with a great opportunity here in the early going. SIU Edwardsville now the other direction. Nice slide tackle by Chicago State, and they'll retake possession. Collision there. Cougars play it back. Chicago State Cougars play it back. Pass intended for Juhas. I don't think Donut saw that. That'll roll out of bounds. That'll be a throw-in now for Carol Zach. Jake Carol Zach. We have a whistle and a stoppage. We have an SIU Edwardsville player who's a little worse for the wear. Twenty-six thirty-three left to go here in the first half. We're ready to go. Clock will start right now. SIU Edwardsville. Good defense by Chicago State. Chicago State being really physical. It's kind of their MO. A whistle and a push from behind here on Marrera. Be a free kick for Chicago State. That's Sinaceros playing it back to Fontana. Rolled forward to Ibarra. Ibarra up into midfield. A little bit too much on that pass for Efrain Rivas. That gives it over to SIU Edwardsville. Rolled over to the far side with it. The low cross and Fontana 
is forced to make the save going back the other direction as shot attempt wrong footed Fontana that was off the foot of Carol Zach Carol Zach was going right left to right he got his foot on that deflected it back to the left and Lucas had to make the diving save the ball was slowing down as it was approaching approaching the goal line so not a terribly difficult save for Lucas but his first save of the game and keeps this thing scoreless SIU Edwardsville now trying to move down that far side with good defense by Chicago State to take it away punch it out of harm's way again trying to take advantage of the speed of Odiambo and you can see it there as Hillary split the red jerseys but Sam Gomez was there first last time out for the Cougars it was a Chicago State Cougars excuse me it was a nothing nothing draw against Eastern Illinois Lucas Fontana his first shutout of the season, making a couple of saves in that one. Before that, Chicago State down 3 0 in the first half against Southern Indiana. But Jaye Shepard in the 25th minute, and then a couple of goals from Ian Topete late, 69th minute, 88th minute, gave Chicago State a 3 3 draw in that one. So their last two matches, a couple of draws. Again, they've been playing some much better soccer as of late. Program that's in there, really their third season of existence, technically their fourth, 2020. They played three games. Arafat now bodies the ball down, taps it back. Rolled over to the far side, Chicago State. All time in their fourth season, seven, 36, and nine. This three wins. It's a program high. They picked up two wins in the 2021 season. They were a one-win team a year ago. This year, much improved, 3-8-3, three, and three, very competitive. They've only had a couple of games that kind of got out of hand, but they've been in almost every match they've played this season. Kind of give you a difference. The history of these two programs, I talked about Chicago State in their fourth season, 7-36-9, and nine, and now their fourth season. SIU Edwardsville now in their 57th season of play. They have 602 more program victories than Chicago State. SIU Edwardsville all-time 609, 321, and 94. 57th season of play for the SIU Edwardsville Cougars. Fourth season of play for the Chicago State Cougars. This is an SIU Edwardsville program that has two national championships. Back in the 70s, 72 and 79. 23 NCAA appearances. This is a, a very uh, storied men's soccer program taking on a team that's just trying to get their feet underneath them and, and learn a little bit more about who they are and try to build something here. Don't, uh, excuse me, that's Sergeyev. Sergeyev playing it back, but I think it was deflected, and SIU Edwardsville will take it the other direction. Hold into the midfield where SIU Edwardsville will retake possession. Chicago State 1-4 at home on the season. Their lone win was that 2-0 victory against Liberty a couple of weeks ago, while the Cougars 4-0-2 oh, on the road this season. 5-0-1 oh, in the OVC. Low line drive, and those are the balls that are going to skip on this wet turf. Being able to possess that ball as it comes in low on you is going to be critical. Sayu Edwardsville playing catch in the midfield area. Into space, but nobody there Don't except Donut Juhas. Juhas with the long left foot looking for Sergiev. And getting there first will be Gomez. So Chicago straight trying a lot of these long balls, trying to take advantage of their speed. This time on the near side to Sergiev. The other attempts have all been to the far side of the field and Hilary Odiambo. This is Carol Zach playing it up to the far sideline. And SIU Edwardsville. That's Bill Yu rolled forward. A little return pass. 
chipped into the box, but Fontana is waiting there. That was Carol Zach on that chip, number 22. Carol Zach, the redshirt sophomore out of St. Charles, suburb of St. Louis. Fontana down on the near side to Sinaceros. Joshua the junior from Rockford, miss hit, miss hit there, turnover, SIU Edwardsville, and Chicago State's able to wriggle out of that. That was a very dangerous play. That'll be a handball here on SIU Edwardsville, and a yellow card handball too, so calling that a intentional handball. A couple of substitutions. We coming in here for Chicago State in just a minute. The freshman, Dasha Curiel, and the speedster, Jaye Shepard, will both be checking in here at the next whistle. Cougars move that D line up. They look to attack here. We're under 20 left to go in the first half. A scoreless first half. Over to Odiambo. Hillary bodies the ball down. Uses his speed. Tried to use his strength. He's going to be whistled for a foul there as he couldn't get around Will Harris over on that far side. Hillary's looked awfully impressive here in the early going for Chicago State. SIU Edwardsville now. Ball through, and there's that ball skipping off the turf past Abiel Pau. And those substitutions will come in. So Dasha Curiel checking in, and Jai Shepard checking in for Udu Now and Danny Sergiev. Dasha Curiel, the five foot seven inch freshman out of Rockford. Three assists on the year and has gotten better and better as the season has gone on. Jaye Shepard, another player who's gotten better as the year has gone on, comes in off the bench. He has three goals on the season, second on the team, tied with Sergiev. So instant offense off that Chicago State bench here. That miss starting to miss a little bit more here at Gwendolyn Brooks. It's sort of lighting up the field a little bit. Still not really raining. I wouldn't call this rain. I would call this a heavy mist. SIU Edwardsville down the far side. They look to break the ice here. Neither team scored. It's crossed towards the back post and across the end line for a goal kick. Chicago State's played SIU Edwardsville pretty even here through the first 25, 20, well, 28 minutes, give or take. Only one shot on goal. That was for SIU Edwardsville. Chicago State has like the only two corners of the game. So Jaya Shepard now down here in front of us on the near side. So they're going with some additional speed with Shepard. They're replacing the six foot five inch Sergiev with the five foot six inch Shepard. So a little bit less on those those set pieces and maybe a little more speed. And it's going to be a throw in for SIU Edwardsville down low. Good battle along the along the sideline. Be taken by Crabtree. Probably look for him to throw it into the box. It is in the box, but the ball bounces away and it's blasted out of trouble. Curiel tried to take advantage, but SIU Edwardsville will get it back over on the far side, top, near the top of the box. Centered, the left foot, left footed attempt is blocked out of trouble. There's Crabtree again. Over to Abiel Pau. That ball's into the box, and the save is made by Fontana. Lucas picks up his second save of the half, but that was an easy one right in the bread basket. Rolls it over to the far side. Chicago State. The low ball looking for. Odiambo, but it misses him, and it's played by Gomez. SIU Edwardsville getting ready to make three substitutions. Andres Delasio 
Mitchell Murphy, Pavel Dashin, and Connor Gramke. So four different substitutions for SIU Edwardsville. Wholesale changes, hockey line changes, you could say. Ball taken away there. Shepard with it now. Jaye has it punched away from him from behind. And SIU Edwardsville now tries to counterattack. Crabtree right at midfield. Rolled forward, chipped ahead. That'll be an offsides. Whistled down on SIU Edwardsville. 15 and change left to go here in the first half of a scoreless match so far between the Cougars and the Cougars, SIU Edwardsville and the home Chicago State Cougars. On the near side with it, Chicago State left-footed ball up into the middle, played over to the far side now. Rolled ahead in the midfield area. Curiel's going to be whistled for the foul as there was a collision. He knocks down. Hassan is whistled for the foul, but it looks like Curiel actually got the worst of that. He's holding that left ankle. Up into the middle now. The long ball looking for Odiambo again. Here comes Hillary. Hillary with some space. The low sh pass looking for Curiel in the box. Dasha crashing the net and that'll lead to the third corner kick of the first half here for Chicago State so Hillary Odiambo really playing a solid first half here for the Cougars he's given them their best opportunities and a couple of his a couple of his plays have led to some corners we'll see if Chicago State has some more success on this one their last two have been less than probably what they were looking for this will be Ju this will be Juhas taking the corner from that far side using that left foot again. The six foot four inch defenseman leads the team in assists with six. This would be a great time for number seven. Ball into the box, punched out of there, and punted out of harm's way by SIU Edwardsville. So not a bad attempt that time by Juhas, but Gomez got his hands on it and was able to punch it away. So five now substitutions getting ready to check in for SIU Edwardsville. In addition to the four that we already mentioned, Bobby Pauley, the freshman, getting ready to check in. So they're replacing half of their players out on the field right now. Nice ball over to Odiambo on the far side from Juhas. Hillary now. Hillary takes it down low. The shot, the save made by Gomez and up over the net for another corner. So Hillary Odiambo just continues to control that side of the field. Gets the first shot on goal for Chicago State. There'll be a corner down on the near side now. That'll be taken by Enrique Zamora. Chicago State looking to capitalize on all these set pieces. Ball towards the back of the box, headed out of the headed headed out of there. Chicago State has it, the long ball, and get all of that one and rolls harmlessly across the end line for a goal kick. So here come those wholesale changes for SIU Edwardsville. Five new players out there with 12 minutes and change left in the first half of a scoreless match. Chicago State, SIU Edwardsville. The 10-0-3 uh, Edward, uh, SIU Edwardsville Cougars have their hands full here tonight with the 3-8-3 Chicago State Cougars. Chicago State not giving in, and they're giving SIU Edwardsville everything they can handle here in the early going. You even argue that Chicago State is at the better of the offensive play here. SIU Edwardsville has possessed the ball, but when Chicago State has turned it around, they've actually had the better of the offensive chances. Bad throwing attempt here, though, gives the ball right over to SIU Edwardsville. Another throw in here for SIU E. Quick throw in. Ball rolled forward with the left foot. SIU Edwardsville now down deep. 
starting to get really slick out there. You can see the field starting to shimmer and shine from the reflection of the water. Cross attempt possessed by Chicago State. And it's punched out of, out of there, and Dasha Curio will give chase, but back on it is Gomez. Gomez rolls it forward, almost stolen away. Rolls it over to Gibson, but Curio almost stole that away. Nice attempt by Luca Asaf to steal that ball and turn defense into offense, but his forwards were going back to play defense, and he was the only one there and smartly made the decision to give up possession. Here's Crabtree. Ball through. SIU Edwardsville now walking forward with it. Top of the box, but cleared out by Chicago State. It's Pauly now on the near side. Wes Gibson. Gibson rolling it forward. Whistle, and that'll be a foul called on Chicago State. Foul on Jose Abara. The junior defenseman at a Streamwood, so dangerous set piece here for SIU Edwardsville. About 15 yards outside of the box. Let me look for them to put the ball into the middle and watch all those red jerseys crash the box. This will be taken by al Sadiq Hassan, the team's leading goal scorer, the grad student, five goals and an assist on the year as we're under 10. Hassan will use that left foot. Puts that towards the back line. And a Fontana is there, but he's not able to make the save. And SIU Edwardsville does break through here in the first half. Pavel Dashin, the grad student, picks up his fourth goal of the season. That was a nice ball towards that back line. Deflected into the six, and Dashin was there to punch it home. Nothing Lucas Fontana, nothing Lucas Fontana could do about that one as Dashin scores with nine minutes or so left to go here in the first half. So SIU Edwardsville does take that one nothing lead. Chicago State been playing some playing SIU Edwardsville play for play this uh, so far here in the first half, but SIU Edwardsville does break the ice and they pick up a goal. Here in the 39th minute. 36th minute, excuse me. Can't math correctly. Chicago State looking for a quick answer, but SIU Edwardsville will retake possession here. So it was a, I talked about it when it was getting set up, a dangerous set piece, not that far out of the box, and Hassan with a really nice ball towards the back line. And SIU Edwardsville able to make the secondary pass. And that secondary pass led to an easy tap-in goal for Dashin. They look for another here in the final 10. Chicago State just forced a left foot it up the sideline. That'll be a throw-in for SIU Edwardsville. Crabtree to take the throw in. Long ball into the box. And that finds its way to the foot of Lucas Fontana. Lucas now down the far side. Bodied down by Odiambo. Hillary not able to possess. And SIU Edwardsville takes it the other direction. Crabtree back. Gibson, Gibson at forward, taken away by Juhas. That'll be a throw in for Chicago State. Right around midfield. Juhas plays it in to Ibarra. Ibarra over on the far side, Sinaceros. Sinaceros and Ibarra play catch. Bar the long left foot, looking for Odiambo, but not able to get enough on it. Chicago State will get a throw in right around midfield, though. They'll take it there. Dribbling forward, trying to get through traffic. 
The high arcing ball looking for Jaye Shepard, but knocked down by SIU Edwardsville. Nice steal by Juhas. Donut. It's pressured. And has the ball taken back from him. That's Delasio for SIU Edwardsville, playing it back to Hassan. Hassan set up the goal for SIU Edwardsville in the first half. Six and a half left to go in half number one. Played back. The ball down the near side. That gets through Mur uh, Mitchell Murphy to Fontana. Mitchell Murphy, grad student out of Quincy. Five goals on the season. Cougars have not, Chicago State Cougars, excuse me, have not played a bad first half at all here. They're playing one of the better teams in the country. Not ranked, but maybe should be with that 10-0-3 mark. Chicago State playing them pretty even. Just one mistake. The ball ends up in the back of the net. Ibarra. Seneceros now. Seneceros, the low ground ball up to Odiambo. Hillary plays it deep to Curiel, and that ball bounces in on Gomez, who makes the save. Dasha still looking for his first goal of the season. The freshman with three assists. Part of that Chicago State future. Trying to build a winning program. And one of those names you'll see here for the next couple of years for Chicago State. Dasha Curiel. Over on the far side. SIU Edwardsville. Put up into the middle. That's Layton rolling it up ahead. Chicago State. Hooks that ball to Jaye Shepard. Shepard taps it back to Juhas. Juhas back now to Fontana as they reset, reset. Over on the far side, Sineceros now. He and Fontana. Play catch. Trying to pull up that SIU Edwardsville defense and then attack over the top of it. Nice feed to Juhas there. Donat to Shepard. Shepard has to play it back, though, to Ibarra. Ibarra to Sineceros. And right back to Fontana. So Chicago State content to be patient here and try to get SIU Edwardsville to crack here in the final 350 and a late first half goal. Fontana and Ibarra playing, just playing catch. Ibarra rolling it forward. It's taken away and almost a turnover. It is a turnover. The shot in, and that's over the net for a goal kick. So that's the risk you play when you play patient, patient soccer in your own, in your own end. If you don't make that crisp pass, it can lead to a turnover and an opportunity for the opposition, and that was one right there. Stoppage of play as we have a Chicago State Cougar down on the field. I believe that is Jose Ibarra sitting there. Doesn't look too uncomfortable. Haven't seen the trainer make their way out there yet. He's got a goalkeeper, a teammate. And a referee standing over the top of him, and he's on his feet and looks like he's ready to go here. Fontana to the aforementioned Ibarra. Ibarra playing it. This is... Playing it to Jaye Shepard now on the near side. Jaye with a man on his back, and he's pushed down. And we have a set piece here for Chicago State, and right about the same place where SIU Edwardsville scored their goal from. We'll see if Chicago State can return the favor. 
This will be really only about seven yards outside of the box. This will be taken by Donat Juhas. Same similar play. You'll see Chicago State crash the net here. Juhas puts that towards the box, headed down, and it's in the net, but they're going to call a handball on Chicago State. So Chicago State Cougars get one past Sam Gomez, but they're going to whistle that down for a handball and give it over to SIU Edwardsville. So Chicago State with their best opportunity of the game, and they were able to cash in. But touched with a hand. I'm going to go over to SIU Edwardsville here as we're under two now. Long ball down the near side as Shepard is grabbed from behind and fouled. Cougars play it. Sinaceros rolls it up in the middle. Number 30, Giannis DeBar is checked in for Chicago State in the midfield. Cougars steal the ball. Rolled to Odiambo and Hillary goes down. You can see that field starting to get really slick as Hillary lost a, lost an edge, as they say, as he was trying to stop and field that ball, field that pass. We're down to about a minute. Sinaceros, the long, low line drive. Nice little back heel kick by Curiel. And DeBar goes after it, but... SIU Edwardsville able to clear it out. It's off the foot of a Chicago State player, though, so this will be a throw-in for SIU Edwardsville. So we're down to the final 40 seconds here in half number one. It's been an entertaining first half. SIU Edwardsville with a 1-0 lead. Pavel Dashin picked up his fourth goal of the year in the 36th minute, but Chicago State has been playing this SIU Edwardsville team pretty even here in half number one. We'll see if they can break through. They almost got the equalizer on a corner kick here just a minute ago, but whistled down on a handball. Ball's rolled out, and Sinaceros punches it back. There's Shepard bodying it down. Jaye, the long ball in, forces Gomez to make the save in the final couple of seconds. Good right foot by Jaya Shepard, and that's the whistle to end the first half. So SIU Edwardsville will go into halftime with a 1-0 lead, a 36th minute goal by Pavel Dashin. We'll be back with second half action here in just a little bit. SIU Edwardsville won Chicago State nothing on the Chicago State TV network.
Second half action about to get underway here. Second half action about to get underway here at Gwendolyn Brooks. Chicago State trailing SIU Edwardsville by the score of one to nothing. Only goal of the half scored by Pavel Dashin in the 36th minute. Assists there go to Will Harris and Al Sadiq Hassan on the set play. Shots in the first half, six for SIU Edwardsville, four for Chicago State. Each team put three on goal. Four corner kicks for Chicago State, none for SIU Edwardsville. So Chicago State playing pretty evenly with the top team in the OVC this season, the SIU Edwardsville Cougars, but right now on the short end of a one nothing score as we go to half number two. And as the half gets underway, let's take a look at the other scores from around the OVC here this afternoon and this evening. Earlier today, Eastern Illinois defeated Southern Indiana 2 to nothing. A couple of games currently in action. Houston Christian with a 3-1 lead over Incarnate Word as Chicago State's going to earn themselves yet another corner here on a nice ball. Knocked out of bounds, so corner kick on the near side. That'll be taken by Donut Juhas. So 3-1 lead for Houston Christian in the 67th minute, and Lindenwood defeated Liberty 2-1. We're 1-0 here just underway in the second half. Donut Juhas take the corner kick from the near side. Juhas with the right foot. The cross headed out of there. Chicago State will maintain possession, at least for the moment. Tapped forward. And Juhas punts that ball. Punts that ball high up into the air. Cougars, Chicago State Cougars with an opportunity and put over the crossbar for a goal kick. That's the fifth corner for Chicago State here. Haven't had much success. One of them. Almost led to a goal, but the other four, nothing doing as SIU Edwardsville continues to play that stellar defense. A team that's there's a whistle and an easy foul called here. It's going to be on Luca Asaf. This SIU Edwardsville team is allowed eight goals in 13 games this season. Their goalie, Sam Gomez, one of the top goal keeps in the NCAA, ninth in goals against a fourth in the nation in save percentage he has six shutouts and has allowed eight goals looking for shutout number seven he's about 43 minutes away as his team has a one nothing lead and this SIU Edwardsville, Edwardsville team doesn't just do it defensively they're top 10 in the nation in scoring as well here's a steal here's Dasha Curiel Curiel near the top of the box Curiel Overruns it a little bit, plays it over to the far side. Down deep, the left foot. And that's over everything as Donat Juhas unloads but misses the net. And that'll be a goal kick here for SIU Edwardsville. So again, Chicago State hanging with this undefeated SIU Edwardsville club but not able to break through as of yet. That ball through and Sinaceros. Excuse me, that's Ibarra again, I believe, who's down. Yep, that is Ibarra, number 23. He's down for a second time, holding that left foot. I don't know if he came down on the SIU Edwardsville player or rolled the ankle, but he's up again. So Jose, the junior... Defender from Streamwood's taking a bit of a beating here this evening, but he stays out there. Chicago State down one nothing, just underway here in the second half. Gwendolyn Brooks. College prep is where Chicago State plays their home soccer games on this bright blue turf that is as slick as ice right now with this constant rain that we've had for the last couple of hours that mist that i was talking about is turned into actual rain here as halftime moves into the second half so it's a very wet surface down there you can see the the field shining 
Chicago State looking to even things up with SIU Edwardsville. Lucas Fontana down that far side looking for Juhas. Donut heads it down and Chicago State with possession in the midfield. At Cineceros, the long ball looking for Odiambo. Hillary steals the ball but not able to do anything else with it. Punched out of there by SIU Edwardsville. Right back and that pass misses Hillary. But it looks like it was deflected out of bounds. This will be a throw in for Chicago State. It's Efrain Rivas. Name we haven't called much today has been number six, Ian Topete. Team's leading goal scorer with five. Nice back heel pass to Odiambo. Hillary in the box. And that ball's cleared out. Here's another goal kick. That was a beautiful back heel pass by Chicago State. That was Eduardo Flores, number 16, who had checked in. Made that back heel pass to Odiambo, and that'll lead to another corner kick. It'll be Juhas. Donut with the left foot towards the back post. Punched out by Gomez as Jaye Shepard tries. Actually, that was Odiambo tried the shot, and Gomez makes the save and falls down. Couple of gray jerseys in the six. Jaye Shepard standing on top of Gomez. And the goalkeeper lost his shoe. That's got to feel really uncomfortable on this wet surface. Wet socks are no joke, man. Gomez is ready. So we're under 40. Chicago State already with a couple of corner kick opportunities here in the second half. This so second half is starting out just like the first half has gone, and that'll be a push from behind on Cineceros. And this is the exact position down to our right where SIU Edwardsville scored their goal about 20 yards outside of the box. Shot towards the back post. It was passed back towards the near post and punched in by Dashin. This will be taken by Mitchell Murphy this time. Last time it was al Sadiq Hassan. We'll see what Murphy has in store here. There's the whistle. Murphy puts the right arm up and they're looking for basically the same play, but this one will be whistled down for an offsides. Ball didn't get quite as deep as Hassan's ball did. Hassan's ball was all the way back by the end line. This one ended up by the, kind of by the six, the top of the six yard box. So this will be Lucas Fontana now trying to flip things around for Chicago State. Fontana down the far side. Juhas not able to head that ball in, so a bit of a miss hit from Fontana. And that's something we've seen from Lucas a handful of times this season. Just goal kicks that go awry that give possession right back to the opposition. Headed forward by SIU Edwardsville. This turns defense into offense. A whistle and a foul on SIU Edwardsville. And we have another Chicago State player down. This time is number two. That's Luca Asaf. Another freshman, Luca out of France. We're going to have a yellow card issued here on SIU Edwardsville. We are indeed going to be on number nine. That's Pavel Dashin, the goal scorer. So he's got a goal and a yellow card. And this will require the trainer to come out to attend to Luca. 37-57 left to go in the second half. Chicago State trailing SIU Edwardsville 1-0. Goal in the 36th minute by the aforementioned Pavel Dashin. We're going to take a quick break while the training staff attends to Asaf. So with just under 38 minutes left to go here in half number two, Chicago State trails SIU Edwardsville one nothing.
quickest break in sports history. Luka Asaf is back up being helped to the field. He's walking very gingerly, that right leg. After the after the yellow card issued to Pavel Dashin. Asaf, very slow to the bench here. Checking in for Chicago State. Replacing Asaf will be number 15, Andres Bermudez, the senior. Excuse me, that's number six, <laughs> Ian Topete checking in. So Ian got the start. And he's back in there now. Chicago State plays the ball on the near side, the long right foot looking for Odiambo not able to connect. That'll roll out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for SIU Edwardsville now. This throw in to be taken by Murphy. Drops it for Bobby Pauley. On the near side, and that'll be a throw in down deep now for SIU Edwardsville. A couple of passes in tight space in the box. And Odiambo now with it on the near side, right in front of the SIU Edwardsville bench. We got a whistle and a foul called here on Chicago State. And we're going to have a yellow card. Yellow card issued here to Hillary Odiambo as he knocks down Bobby Polly. So Odiambo picks up the yellow card. Bit of a choppy start to the second half here, a chippy start to the start of the second half, I should say. Yellow card issued on each squad. Still no shots from either team here in the second half. We've had a lot of stoppage. We're only about six and a half, seven and a half minutes into the first, into the second half. This will be Will Harris. Just tips it forward to Murphy. Gets it back. Plays it all the way back to Gomez. Gomez all the way down and through. Chicago State has it there as Murphy is down and that wet turf and he looks to be in some discomfort. He was he was trying to defend Efrain Rivas and Rivas made a tight turn and was able to get away from him and Murphy went down hard and I think it's his right foot, right ankle, right leg. And he's being attended to now by the SIU Edwardsville trainers. So more whistles and more choppiness here in the second half. And it's not a surprise with the field getting a little wet that you're starting to see some players slide around. Once again with Mitchell Murphy down. See if he's getting back to his feet here. He's up on all fours right now. And he's going to need help to the bench as well. That right knee, it looks like he was, he's not putting any pressure on that at all. That's not a good sign if you're an SIU Edwardsville fan, the team's leading scorer, five goals on the season, gingerly being helped to the, to the bench. Put a little bit of pressure on that right leg, but not much at all. So he'll come out. 36 minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the second half. one nothing. SIU Edwardsville with the lead. Rivas will play it all the way back to Fontana as Chicago State looks to reset. There's Ibarra. 
A long ball looking for Odiambo, but not able to connect on that one. But it's a steal here for Chicago State. Played in the middle of the field, and good defense by SIU Edwardsville to turn that into almost nothing for Chicago State. Rivas. Rivas back. Ceniceros playing it all the way back to Fontana. Lucas with that right foot over to Juhas. Donut one taps it to the middle of the field. SIU Edwardsville trying to turn Chicago State around. And a couple of hard tackles by Chicago State. No fouls called. SIU Edwardsville takes possession here. Plays it back. Pauly. To Layton, back to Pauly, and now back to Harris. Harris rolls it forward, and that's Abial Pau who draws the foul. And SIU Edwardsville will take possession here. Free kick. It's only about, it's about 16, 17 yards out of the box, but right in front of the bench. So this will be Abial Pau. Macarunya, Spain, the junior, to take this. He had the assist on the first goal on a similar play. Puts this one towards the back of the box, headed into the box. Another head attempt, and that one's wide of the near post for a goal kick. That's the first shot, on, first shot for either team here in the second half. Uh, ten minutes gone here in half number two. Chicago State trailing one nothing. Chicago State Cougars looking for their fourth victory of the season, their second OVC victory of the year. While SIU Edwardsville is 10-0-3 on the season. Ball's played in the middle of the field. There's Odiambo. Hillary has it. He takes it down the near side now. A pass behind Dasha Curiel. The two of them have a bit of miscommunication. That lets SIU Edwardsville come the other direction, but Chicago State is there to take the ball away. Ibarra on the far side. Rolls it up the middle. Chicago State has it right in the middle of the field. Looking down field for Jaye Shepard. Not able to connect. And Abiel Pau is knocked down, and that'll be a foul on Chicago State. SIU Edwardsville now with possession right around midfield. Playing with the lead, so showing a little bit of patience here. Pushed forward, out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for Chicago State. Chipped into the middle of the field. Chicago State rolls it over to the near side. That's Rivas. Efrain Rivas now tipping it forward to Topete. Ian Topete up ahead to Odiambo, and that goes out of bounds. Throw in here for SIU Edwardsville. Back to Gomez in net. Sam has it over on the far side. Chicago State's played a really solid game here against a very tough SIU Edwardsville team. Played them essentially even in that first half, but one set piece for SIU Edwardsville is the difference. Here's a long ball through top of the box. That's Nick Mench. And a whistle and a foul called here on SIU Edwardsville. That was number 19, Nick Mensch, the junior out of Heidelberg, Germany. She couldn't corral that ball at the top of the box, and that allowed Chicago State to get back defensively. Played on the near side. D to D passing. It's Layton. Just taps it forward. Over on the far side now, Gibson. Gibson up to midfield. As Jaya Shepard gets back defensively. Layton with the one-touch pass. The through ball, but nobody there other than gray jerseys. And Fontana will secure possession. Ibarra. 
Down to Sinaceros. Josh with a little ground ball looking up ahead for Topete, not able to connect. And we're gonna have a whistle and a foul called here on Dasha Curiel as Odiambo almost walked in, but Dasha whistled for the foul. SIU Edwardsville now. Playing it back. Chipped into the midfield area. Ibarra now takes possession for Chicago State. Sinaceros in the middle of the field. Sayu Edwardsville takes possession on the bad pass from Chicago State. Gives them an opportunity to attack. That's a BL Pow. The ball through and hammered out of harm's way. And that'll be a throw in for SIU Edwardsville in front of their own bench. 30 minutes exactly left to go in the second half. Substitution for SIU Edwardsville is Al Sadiq Hassan checking back in. Ball rolls into the box and it's scooped up by Fontana. Lucas runs forward and then rolls it to Ibarra. Ibarra with some space. Up ahead. Taken away. Knocked away by Chicago State. Back to Ibarra. Juhas playing catch with Ibarra. Barra D to D, Sinaceros. Tapped forward, Chicago State not really moving forward here with the same level of, I would say, intensity or purpose that they did in that first half. SIU Edwardsville is content to let them play catch along that back line. They're the team with the lead here. Chicago State looking to force SIU Edwardsville into an error, and this is just a team that does not make many mistakes. On the far side, SIU Edwardsville Cougars. The long ball, and Juhas lets that come down, and we'll let it play through to Lucas Fontana. Lucas has made a couple of saves here today. He's allowed one goal, but... Can't really fault them for that goal. There were two red jerseys in front of him, and he was the only, only Chicago State player between them and the goal. Chicago State's had their opportunities. They have six corner kicks to none for SIU Edwardsville. Nice head by Bobby Pauly as Odiambo was looking to walk in by himself. Pauly forward with Odiambo bearing down on him. Collision there, and Chicago, and eventually they're going to get Odiambo with the foul. So they don't get him on the first push, but they get him on the second. He knocks down Dashin. This will be taken by Hassan, Al Sadiq Hassan. This is right where they scored that goal from, and this is the same play. Hassan puts that back towards the back post, but, or excuse me, the back line, but it curls out of bounds. Getting ready to check in for SIU Edwardsville will be Jacobo Sanfeliu. Down to 26 minutes left. Ibarra now. Rolling it ahead, stolen away. Chipped up in the air. Down deep with it. SIU Edwardsville. Taken away nicely by Chicago State. Long left foot looking for Curiel. 
Dasha trying to claw his way to the ball, but it's taken away. A nice little chip to space, but Chicago State able to get back defensively. A nice play laying down, and here comes SIU Edwardsville. Two on one, the shot in. What a save by Lucas Fontana, making the diving save to his right on a golden opportunity. Here's Hassan now trying to dribble through three gray jerseys and can't. The Cougars try to, Chicago State Cougars try to come the other direction, but SIU Edwardsville is there. They turn it right around as Layton tries to get the offense started for SIU Edwardsville. That pass missing Aaron Crabtree. That'll roll out of bounds, but that's the save of the match so far. Lucas Fontana coming out of his net, cutting down that angle and diving to his right and making the tough save. In midfield, Chicago State not able to do anything with it. And that's a late whistle, but a foul called. As Giannis DeBar is fouled, so Chicago State will retake possession. Sinaceros down on the near side, the right-footed chip looking for Odiambo. That's off the head, I believe, of a SIU Edwardsville defender. So this will be a throw-in for Chicago State. Down deep. Efrain Rivas takes the throw in. It's passed right back to him. Knocked off his foot and out of bounds. Checking in now will be Sanfeliu. Jacobo Sanfeliu and number 11, Stefan Moria. Stefan Moria. Herrera checking back in. Down the near side. Nice ball up into space. Crabtree down the far side with it for SIU Edwardsville. A couple of gray jerseys get back and that forces SIU Edwardsville to stop and their offense started a little bit slower in the midfield. That was Delasio. Sayu Edwardsville down that far side with some space now. Walking towards the box. That pass put towards the top. Sayu Edwardsville now on the far side. They play it back. Again, they're the team playing with the lead, so they're content to be patient with their offense. Usually the, for this SIU Edwardsville team, one goal is enough. Two will basically seal it. Odiambo plays it forward. Overrun there by Shepard. Jaya to space to Ibarra. Seneceros in the middle of the field. Rolls it to Rivas. Rivas and Seneceros. Seneceros, the long right foot looking for Odiambo. Hillary tries to split the defense and forces SIU Edwardsville to kick it out of bounds for a throw in. Down under 23 minutes. 1 0 SIU Edwardsville with the lead. This will be taken by Rivas again. In to Odiambo. Hillary plays it back to Rivas. Rivas is pushed off the ball, and it'll be a goal kick as the SIU Edwardsville defender fended Rivas off that ball nicely and just let it roll across the end line. So the rain's starting to come down a little bit harder here now at Gwendolyn Brooks, and the field is getting awfully damp. We've already seen a couple players go down. One Mitchell Murphy left with an injury. On the far side, SIU Edwardsville cutting it back in. They play it back. That bounces off of Delasio. Forces SIU Edwardsville back to their defense. Back to their D-line. Ten 
tapped forward. SAU Edwardsville moving those lines up a bit. This played over to the near side to Abiel Powell. He's in the box, and good defense by Chicago State. DeBar plays it back to Juhas Donat. The left foot, a bit of a miss hit. But the Chicago State Cougars are able to take possession for the moment. DeBar tries to find Odiambo on the near side, but... Not particularly close, and Bobby Polly will take possession for SIU Edwardsville. Up ahead. SIU Edwardsville just walking forward. Chicago State having trouble getting their offense started here in the second half. They have four shots on four shots, three of them on goal, but they were all in the first half. Nothing here at all. In half number two is this SIU Edwardsville defense has clamped down on Chicago State. Middle of the field. Carriol playing it forward. Looking for Topete. Not able to connect. And SIU Edwardsville will retake possession. It's three substitutions getting ready to check in for Chicago State. Luca Asaf. Arafat Uru now. And I believe it's... Danny Sergiev down there. He's wearing a black shirt over his jersey, but I believe that's Sergiev getting ready to check back in as well. Throw down the near side. Ball over to space by Sanfeliu, but it's cleared out by Juhas and SIU Edwardsville, where they've seemingly been for the last 10 or 15 minutes, not quite in deep on Lucas Fontana, but in that kind of forward position as Bobby Pauly now plays it up, plays it across midfield. We're down under 20. And that's played back to Will Harris. A low line drive headed down, but right under the foot of Abiel Pau. And it's going to be called for a foul here. Doesn't Particularly like it. Puts the arms out to the side, but it's called nonetheless. There's a whistle, and we get a stoppage of play here as Sanfeli was grabbing that ankle, but he looks okay. Looks like somebody dropped a piece of equipment back in the Chicago State box. It's a shin pad is what that looked like. We're ready to go here now. Chicago State with possession. Sinicero, Sinabara play catch. Back to Sinicero says Chicago State looks to get a little bit more aggressive here in the second half of the second half. They're down one nothing. In the middle to Sinicero's. Joshua, the right foot towards the top of the box, body down. Here's Topete with it. Topete tries to put it towards the box, deflected out of there. Debar now. DeBar rolling it forward to Curiel. Curiel back to Rivas. Rivas now, excuse me, Odiambo. Hillary has it knocked off his foot, chipped into the box, and looking for Odiambo, but not able to connect. And now we will have those substitutions, so it will be Asaf, Urunau, and Danny Sergiev. And on the other side, Seth Koronek and Jacob Bilyeu checking in for SIU Edwardsville. Seth Koronek and Jacob Bilyeu return to the field for SIU. Luka Asaf, Arafat Oronek. 17 and a half minutes left to go. To the field for CSU. Chicago State looking for that equalizer here. They've drawn their last two matches and they're 1-1-2 one, one, in their last four. They've been playing some better soccer as of late. They've had their chances here. They've had six corner kicks. 
in today's match against SIU Edwardsville, but nothing to show for it yet. We'll be a whistle and another foul called on Abiel Pau. He's had a couple of those called against him. Ibarra now down the far side. Chips it over to Joshua Sinaceros. Sinaceros, big six foot four inch junior. Rivas back to Sinaceros. Sinaceros back to Ibarra, but it's behind him. And that forces Jose to have to go back and play it. And he will play it back to Lucas Fontana. Lucas with that long right foot. And that'll be out of bounds and a throw in for CSU. And just a turnover by Chicago State as Juhas throws it into Jaye Shepard and Jaye just kicks it out of bounds. I've seen that a couple of times on throw-ins here this evening with Chicago State. Just absolutely nothing on the throw-ins. They just give the ball right away. Up in the midfield, SIU Edwardsville takes possession as Abiel Pau tries to walk around Topete. He can't. Here comes Ian Topete with some space. Ian, five goals on the season, looking for six. Takes it down the near side. Just keeps taking it deep. And that'll be another corner kick for Chicago State. So Ian Topete doing a nice job. SIU Edwardsville. Oh, it's going to be a goal kick. So they're saying that's off of Topete. Looked like that was off of a red jersey, but no. We approach the 15-minute mark here. Chicago State down one nothing. SIU Edwardsville looking to improve to 11-0-3 on the season. Chicago State looking to improve to 4-8-3. It's already the best season in program history for Chicago State, so a win or a draw against an undefeated SIU Edwardsville team would kind of be that, that feather in the cap of this season. They already have that, that signature victory, that 2-0 win over Liberty a couple of weeks ago. So the underdog's looking for another one here, but they've got some work to do over the final 14 and change. There's Sinaceros. They're giving him space. He takes it. That ball through. Uru now not able to convert. This high ball played through. Sanfeliu. Sanfeliu in all alone. Sanfeliu shot. The save made by Fontana. He gets another shot. And he hooks it wide of the near post. So Lucas Fontana coming way out of his net aggressive on Jacobo Sanfeliu. And he's able to make the initial save. And then Sanfeliu uh, with the right foot had an open net. Just hooked it wide of the near post. Sayu Edwardsville. When they get that second goal, they are... Well, I mean, they're unbeatable all year. They haven't lost a game this season, but they've only allowed more than one goal once all season long. So it's kind of the magic number for them. Sinaceros with, with it right at midfield. Plays it forward. It's Curiel. Dasha back towards the middle of the field. There's Topete. Ian rolls it on the near side now. That ball towards the back of the box, headed up into the air by SIU Edwardsville. Jaya Shepard is up on it, and it's cleared out by SIUE. Roll out of bounds. That'll be a throw in for Chicago State. It's thrown in immediately back to Lucas Fontana. Sinaceros been playing in that position that's been manned by Cal Wayne Allen. All season long. We haven't seen Cal Wayne here tonight. Punted down the field by Wes Gibson. Sinaceros forward to Uru now. He's not able to do anything with it. It's stolen away by Topete, though. Here comes Ian. Ian rolls it through, looking for Curiel, and Dasha stopped. A little bit too much on the pass from Topete, but Curiel just stopped in his tracks and didn't go after it. 
It was a takeaway and a chance for Chicago State, but they're not able to turn it into anything. Played back now to Gomez. Sam Gomez rifles it down the middle of the field. Kept in by Curiel on the near side. Dasha, fancy footwork. Nice job by Chicago State to get possession and get themselves a little bit of space here. Ceniceros tries the far side. It's Juhas. Donat rolls it back. Ibarra now. Here's Ceniceros again. Ceniceros taps it forward. There's Curiel. Dasha down in the near corner. Left-footed cross. Not particularly dangerous as SIU Edwardsville had a couple of players there and we're going to have a whistle and a handball called on Abiel Pau. We'll have a couple of substitutions, one for each team as Jake Carroll, Zach checking back in for SIU Edwardsville and Florian Wador will be checking in for the first time for Chicago State, number seven. There's Curiel again, Dasha back to Uru now. Uru now to Curiel, puts it in the middle of the field and SIU Edwardsville punches it back to midfield where Chicago State will just turn around and come right back. So Chicago State trying to tilt the field here a little bit, but they're not able to get anything particularly close as this is a stout SIU Edwardsville defense. So Carol Zach and Crabtree check back in for SIU Edwardsville as Efren Rivas will check out for Chicago State. And coming in for CSU, number seven, Florian Wador. So Wador for Rivas here in the final 10. Uru now over on the near side to Curiel. Dasha middle of the field, the left foot into the box and Chicago State ties it with nine minutes and 49 seconds left. The Cougars are able to get the equalizer and we got a brand new game. It's 1-1. Chicago State piling up near that near corner and the Cougars, you could feel their offensive momentum. They were starting to press a little bit and they get the equalizer with under 10. We'll get you the uh, get you the number on that here in just a second. But Chicago State. That's Ian Topete. Ian with goal number six on the season. That's three goals in the last three games for Ian. And we're all knotted at one under 10 minutes to go. This Chicago State team does not quit as Topete scores a goal in the 80th minute to get this game square. Nine forty-nine left to go. SIU Edwardsville with the long ball, but it's saved there by Fontana. Lucas will pick it up. So Ian Topete, goal number six of the season, the junior from San Luis, Arizona. He scored two goals in the final 20-ish minutes of the 3-3 tie against Southern Indiana to turn that game from a loss to a draw for Chicago State. And here, a goal in the 80th minute turns a 1-0 deficit into a 1-1 tie. And the Cougars, not done yet. Jaye Shepard plays it over to the far side to Juhas. Donut rolls it forward back to Jaye. Jaye over to Uru now. Uru now, bomb with the right foot over the crossbar. Arafat got all of that right foot, and he was looking for that top corner. Checking in for Chicago State, Eduardo Flores comes in for Jaye Shepard with eight minutes and 45 seconds left. So the first shot of the second half ends up in the back of the net, and the Cougars get one. It's one of the best goalkeepers in the NCAA, and we're all square at one, and that looks like 
significant offsides, but it's going to go out of bounds and it'll be a throw in for Chicago State. So the Cougars looking to do something that nobody has done this season and defeat SIU Edwardsville. They need one to do it, but right now we're in a 1 1 draw or 1 1 tie here as we're down to about eight minutes left to go. It's a Chicago State team that does not quit. They have scored a lot of late game goals to get some of these games closer as that ball's down low and Juhas is able to play it. Donut has it in the corner. Juhas double team down there, rolls it back. Ball put towards the top of the box and stolen away by SIU Edwardsville. A great ball there by Chicago State. This ball comes through, skips on that wet surface and it's played back to Fontana by Ibarra. Lucas plays it out to midfield. SIU Edwardsville now on the attack. Chips it forward for Koronek. Koronek falls. They're going to call a foul. It looked like he stepped on the ball and fell down, but Danny Sergiev doesn't like that call at all. And this will be a... a Set play here for SIU Edwardsville just outside of the box on the near side. So under seven minutes, and this is a chance for SIU Edwardsville to retake the lead. So foul is called on Danny Sergiev. We're still efforting the assist on the goal from Ian Topete, but for Ian, that's goal number six. Here's the ball by SIU Edwardsville, put towards Fontana and into the net. What a shot by SIU Edwardsville. And that beats Fontana, that bent into the back corner. What a shot by SIU Edwardsville. That was Stefan Moreira, the junior, with his third goal of the season on the free kick with six and a half minutes left to go. Buries that in the corner. That's as pretty a goal as you will see. Stefan Marrera gives SIU Edwardsville the lead back. And you see Danny Sergiev talking to the official. Doesn't Didn't agree with that call, and it led directly to a goal for SIU Edwardsville. So Chicago State in a hole here again. Chicago State has played this SIU Edwardsville team very, very tough. Even, in, even if this game ends in a 2-1 final, you'd be very happy with what you're seeing from Chicago State here this evening. They played a complete soccer game offensively and defensively, and it took a brilliant goal from Stefan Marrera beating Lucas Fontana in the final seven minutes. Bit of a delay before we get started here. Long throw in by SIU Edwardsville and that'll be another throw in. So SIU Edwardsville got on the board first in the first half, the 36th minute, Pavel Dashen. Stayed that way until the 80th minute where Ian Topete was able to bang home a deflection. Past Sam Gomez to tie it at one, but only four minutes later, Stefan Marrera on a free kick absolutely drills it into the far corner past Lucas Fontana. And we got a yellow card. Ball towards the top of the box, tried to trip chip that through and Chicago State will take possession here looking for Uru now not able to complete that pass Topete trying to steal it but he can't and Delasio playing it back Wador chips it forward the long left foot it gets through and Uru now not able to 
do anything with that, but Chicago State will take possession here. We're under five over the head of Uru now, and that'll roll into the waiting arms or waiting feet, I guess, of Sam Gomez. He'll wait for Uru now to converge on him, and he'll lay down on, the, on that soccer ball. Gomez taking his time. Gomez, the right foot. Pops all the way through back to Lucas Fontana. Lucas down the far side, but played back by Gibson with the head out of bounds. This will be a throw in for Chicago State. Dasha Curiel will check back in for Chicago State. And Efrain Rivas checking out as they try to get a little bit more offense out there with, with the freshman Curiel here in the final four minutes and 11 seconds. Zach Renz checking in for the first time, the sophomore from Wentzville, Missouri. So he'll come in for the final four. Chicago State looking for another late game equalizer. They thought they had it. Yintopete in the 80th minute, but just four minutes later, SIU Edwardsville able to get another. That'll be a throw in now for SIU Edwardsville. And we got a lot of stoppages and the official telling SIU Edwardsville to Stop screwing around and just throw the ball in. This will be another throw in for SIU Edwardsville as they move forward. Jaya Shepard waiting to check back in as we're down to three minutes and 15 seconds. Long throw in into the corner. SAU Edwardsville content just to get that ball down the field and force us, force Chicago State to attack the entire field. Punted down to the near side where it'll be played by Fontana. Lucas quickly just comes forward with it. Gains some space, puts it down to Uru now. Erafat on the far side to cure or to. Juhas, Donat, taps it in the middle. Ball through, takes a bounce. Ian Topete with the attempted bicycle kick. Puts it over the crossbar. Ian showing off those skills, looking for a second goal of the game. That one over the crossbar. That'll be a goal kick here as we're down to about two minutes now. Chicago State's really going to have to start to press here. Jaye Shepard is checked back in for the final two as they go full offense here in the final two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Sam Gomez. Ball chipped up in the air, headed backwards, and that'll be a foul called on SIU Edwardsville. Chicago State will get a set play from just inside midfield. Be their last great opportunity here with about 90 seconds left, a minute 38. This will be Juhas. Donut chips it with the right foot into the box. Headed into the box. That's in the six. The shot is deflected out of bounds. And that'll be a goal kick for Chicago State. So the Cougars... Had a chance, but good defense by SIU Edwardsville. Juhas will take the corner kick in that far corner. That right foot, or that left foot rather, will bend that ball out. Puts it towards the middle of the box, headed in, and Gomez will be the first one on it. He'll pick it up there with about a minute left. So Chicago State pushing till the final minute here. We're under a minute. They're down two to one, and this has been a really fun soccer game. You, teams come in, one team comes in 10-0-3, the other comes in 3-8-3. You think it's going to be, 
A good old-fashioned butt whooping, but that wasn't the case. Chicago State stayed with and played with SIU Edwardsville all evening long, and it looks like they're going to come up a little bit short here, but nothing to hang your head at is this is a very, very good SIU Edwardsville team, and Chicago State played with them, outplayed them for much of the game. SIU Edwardsville took a brilliant goal off the foot of Stefan Marrera in the 84th minute, and we're down to the final 10, and that will just about do it here from Gwendolyn Brooks. SIU Edwardsville will improve to 11-0-3 on the season, 6-0-1 in the OVC, while Chicago State will drop to 3-9-3, 1-4-2 in OVC play goals for SIU Edwardsville Pavel Dashin in the 36th minute and Stefan Marrera in the 84th and for Chicago State Ian Topete picks up his sixth goal of the year in the 80th minute but it's in a losing cause the Cougars drop to three nine and three on the season as they drop this one to SIU Edwardsville two to one so I hope you enjoyed our broadcast of Chicago State Soccer here on the Cougars Broadcast Network for my entire team. My name is Aaron Shellen, and once again, your final score here from Gwendolyn Brooks, SIU Edwardsville 2, Chicago State 1. We'll see you on Sunday for the final home game of the season and senior day here at Gwendolyn Brooks. Have a great rest of your night, everybody.